my name's Henry and you're watching Dude Like Hella. I'm in a glider above South Wales and this is what I call beautiful. What's up guys? It is a beautiful day here in Eagle River, Alaska, and as you can see, it is snowing. Oh my gosh, beautiful snow, the snow we've been waiting for. Uh, it's been too warm here in Eagle River and in Anchorage, and a lot of the snowfall's just been in the higher elevations and, and back in the mountains where it's not so warm. Uh, but yeah, it is so nice to finally see it here. It's just been ice here uh, because the snow that we had, the little bit of snow we had, just turned to ice and it's, yeah, raining on and off, terrible. Uh, so anyway, today's video, today's vlog is going to be different. Um, this is a vlog, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't sure uh, I was going to make simply because the reason I did this video originally was for personal reasons and to, to help the family of a, a missing soldier. So let me tell you the story about uh, what's happening here. Um, so two weeks ago, uh, there was a soldier uh, named Nephi Soper. He went out for a hike. He was an avid hiker. He loved to go out alone. Um, I relate a lot to him because as you guys know from watching my videos, I love doing that. I love just going up the mountains by myself and finding peace and, and looking within myself and enjoying the, the beautiful nature here in Alaska. Uh, anyway, he went up and um, before he left, he told his uh, superiors where he was going to go, uh, the route and everything. Now this guy was uh, highly trained. He was a medic. Uh, he's, he is very, very, very experienced, uh, an expert in this, you know, in this field really. And so um, when he did his hike and didn't report uh, back in on time, of course the uh, military sent out a search team. Um, uh, Alaska State Troopers went out and did a search team and a bunch of volunteers went out there. Um, but unfortunately the weather was just too bad. Uh, when he went up there apparently the winds got really bad, some snow blew in, and the visibility had to have been just awful. The Air Force joins the search for a missing Anchorage soldier. Five days ago Alaska National Guardsman Nephi Soper left for a hike from the Prospect Heights trailhead headed to Fort Richardson. Troopers are leading the search effort, but tell me the Air Force will search overnight. As long as the weather permits, the Alaska Mountain Rescue Group has been searching on foot since Saturday. Noah Soper says his brother is an Army trained combat medic and an avid outdoorsman known to spend time alone camping, hiking and biking in Alaska. Maybe he got injured and has maybe built a snow fort or some type of shelter. That was just his life, hiking and taking pictures of animals and the scenery and stuff. Nephi has uh, the ability to take care of himself. Nephi told his team leader his route beforehand, so they knew where to search. That search was suspended Tuesday. Nephi's family believes he's probably still alive and asking everyone for prayers. Like I said, I've been following this story for a while and, and just because I relate so much to him and uh, and everything. I, I thought in my head, you know what, that could have been me. That could have easily been me. I could have been out there hiking, enjoying nature and, and taking things in and, uh, you know, one false step could have been just just horrible. And it just goes to show that, you know, here in Alaska or anywhere for that matter, you could be totally prepared for the worst situation and sometimes the worst situation is as much worse than than you would have expected and it doesn't matter how much experience you have or how good your equipment is or how confident you are in everything it's you know things go wrong i've been worried about them for a really long time um you know following closely on the story um as much as I could and I even did my own planning like okay if I was going to do this which way would I go how would I have hiked this what would I have brought you know I did all of that and uh, listening to the reports and everything I, I drew out a very what I think is, is a very accurate map of where he would have went so uh, my plan was originally to hike up there myself not over the bad areas that I believe he may have gotten stuck but at least the front end and the back end of this hike and you'll see uh, as I as I show you more of, of what happened and, and, and all of that but um, I thought you know what instead of just going straight out there and hiking it and and putting myself at risk I want to see it for myself from the sky from a safe area from a safe distance and so uh, yesterday I made that happen um, yesterday was a beautiful sunny day absolutely beautiful there, there wasn't a cloud in the sky and so uh, I hired a helicopter to take me over the area
needless to say, I probably won't make that hike anytime soon. Just just judging by the, the conditions of the snow and the ice and uh, just how everything is out there. Right now, it's just a really bad time to go out in the backcountry, at least on my own. Um, I'm still hoping to, to maybe get like a team of people together, a group of people so we can all go. Um, but of course, we're not gonna go into the really bad area, which is between the two peaks where if he had any problems, that's where I believe it would be. It's, it's just too dangerous and uh, I would much rather wait until the snow melted off a bit uh, to first of all, see the terrain and, and, and kind of reveal things. Um, but yeah, guys, I, I will say this. When I go out on my hikes, I'm always gonna have him on my mind. I'm always gonna think about, you know, what happened or what could have happened to him. Um, I still hope and pray that that uh, that he makes it home safe, that, that he's found. Um, but this is real. You know, all of this, uh, this, this, this situation is real. This can happen to anybody. Like I said, no, no matter how much experience or how good your gear is or how well you know the area, things happen. You know, and in Mother Nature, Mother Nature has her own way of doing things especially here in Alaska. Like, I didn't think it was gonna snow today. It was beautiful yesterday. So, anyways guys, uh, I just wanted to share this video with you. Uh, share this video uh, or watch the uh, other video, of course, Searching for Nephi Soper. Uh, watch that video and share it with anybody that you think uh, is a, uh, a really good hiker that could possibly help with finding Nephi, even if it is just from that video. And if you yourself have the ability to watch a 4K video and look up close, uh, search for yourself as well. I mean, I tried to take as many good shots as I possibly could of the ground, but if you see any areas that you think uh, he could have been stuck or could still be, um, you know, um, help us, help us. And if you know anybody that's here in the Anchorage area or anybody who's, you know, thinking of going up there to look for Nephi, show them this video and, uh, you know, at least show them the conditions and give them an idea of what things look like before they go out there so no one else put themselves uh, at risk. So uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, today's vlog, like I said, was different. Uh, tomorrow, the next vlog, Monday's vlog, is going to be a lot happier. Um, Nephi, I, uh, I am praying for you, buddy. I hope you're found. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.